We all know that appearance matters a lot. It's the first window that people see of who you are. And if it's not good enough, people aren't even interested in your personality. With that said, we're going to get into the 10 things that will instantly boost your aesthetic in 2024. Let's get into it. It's amazing how many people think that they're ugly, they don't have the right body shape for nice clothes, or their face is too fat. The moment you drop to a lower body fat percentage, you will look better. I used to go into these department stores and I see the mannequin with like this fluorescent yellow polo shirt. I'd try it on and I'd never look as good. I'd even wear the whole thing the same way, but the proportions and everything, I'd look kind of round and chubby. Now, when I've dropped to a low body fat, I can wear like oversized, tight, normal fitting, whatever clothing, and I'm not saying I'm fashionable or that it looks good or anything, but it still looks way better than before. I kind of understand why models are usually really, really thin. Obviously not telling you to get anorexic or try to look like these unhealthy models, but understand that the way proportions work, if you look slim and long, that's going to make you just more aesthetic. Clothes are going to fit better. So bear that in mind and drop to a lower body fat percentage. Next, if you look at the attractive men of all the generations from Marlon, and Brando to Brad Pitt to nowadays even like Timothy Chalamet all of these people you will see a very angular like this kind of jaw action like boom is the masculine feature that separates you from all the feminine features of course if you do things like mewing and proper breathing and you chew gum there are things that you can do to improve your jaw definition but what's going to move 80% of the needle when it comes to getting a defined jaw is dropping to a low body fat percentage I made a video exactly about how to reduce face fat but ultimately, if you drop your body fat, your face fat will also go down eventually, even if it's one of the last places you might lose fat. And that's exactly what's going to help you become way more aesthetic and attractive than before. Next, do you know what the V line is? It's that line that kind of leads from your waist down to just above your genitals. Not many people talk about this, but this is another sign of attractiveness because it shows that kind of lean, slim waist it means that your lower belly does not carry a lot of fat kind of like how dimples are attractive on a girl or lines of symmetry are attractive on human beings in general it's like an icing on the cake which leads on to the next one what builds the attractive upper body is a slightly v-shaped upper body it's the sign of virility sign of confidence and competence it's a sign of attractiveness that's kind of embedded into the human psyche kind of like a peacock having big feathers it's just seen as attractive because even though you put yourself out in danger you still survive it's like a display of dominance it's the same thing with a v taper where a slim waist kind of seems like it should be weak but because of that v taper it's like a peacock spreading his wings he's still strong he's still dominant and these are things that in the evolutionary sense speak to the psyche of the feminine of everyone to be honest next so this is one of the areas where guys don't tend to focus on too much and it's hard to focus on it because you could say it's partly genetic but it's the veiny hands and forearms that really make you look like things are about to explode like you're really really healthy like you have blood boiling passion and like you're a bit artistic the blood running through the veins sort of makes you look more passionate more muscular next you don't want to be the top heavy fraction where you got the nice upper body but then you got these skinny damn legs and calves this just makes you weak in fact a lot of the korean girls i spoke to when you ask them like what is the most attractive part on a guy's body a lot of them will say thighs and your thighs if you think about it are like the biggest muscles in your body what i like to think is i don't want those like rugby player massive thick legs it doesn't look good when you wear like suit pants or jeans when everything's about to explode i don't like that aesthetic so i personally like to go for muscular but athletic legs that are powerful that look good and proportionately developed but are not too big next i used to dress completely terribly because i didn't know one thing about fashion and how to dress well i still don't really know what i'm doing but i've gotten so much better by minimalizing guys minimalism genuinely can change your life not just your body but also the way you dress instead of buying so many different things or so many different colors so many different shapes so many different materials and trying to replicate so many different styles start minimizing minimalizing everything so you just wear two colors two shapes just simplify everything and then you'll understand okay wait this works this is good jeans white t-shirt it's good white shoes good you might add one 
thing extra on top like icing on the cake but minimalizing simplifying and really understanding the basics of fashion which i actually go into in this low-key amazing video then that's gonna obviously make you more attractive i can't go into like exactly how to dress more fashion because that would be too long but basically apply minimalism stop trying to do too much stick to the basics and go watch that video after this next i'm not an expert on hairstyle to be honest right now i don't necessarily think i have the best hairstyle or anything i've got the matt doherty hairstyle right the standard robot short sides hair but basically the short sides make your face shape more oval in an elongated way and that's good because it's just genuinely gonna make like glasses look a bit better and if you wear caps or shades or sunglasses it's also gonna look better if you have an oval kind of long shaped face rather than like this pancake face i used to have and then like the legs of the glasses were v-shaped rather than my body back in the day so find a hairstyle that suits you if you've got a small face and you've already got that attractive face already then you can do whatever you want you can get like fluffy like just freaking afros and long hairs do whatever but usually people have certain styles that suit them and to be honest it comes with trial and error and experience and the main thing is to find one that works for you next have you ever been in a classroom discussion seminar room and you're discussing something and you think this girl's like really nice and this girl's really cute and when they start talking and they just cringe then your attraction to them kind of dips to be honest for most guys this won't happen because you guys just like the pretty girl right but i've experienced it myself where my attraction would actually dip if you can't have an engaging conversation with the person and for girls it's kind of like double triple effect if you kind of look like oh yeah you kind of look nice but then the moment you talk you got nothing in your brain you can't hold a conversation you're not engaged you're not passionate you're not convinced of yourself then all of that just makes you look like all you cared about was your hairstyle and you look like a boy frankly just like a boy toy you got to develop personality and an ability to converse to engage in an engaging way next you know that classic question is like hey you introduce yourself and then you're like oh you know i do this that and the other and then you say like what are your hobbies i've asked this question like what are your hobbies to a bunch of like korean people a lot of people really just like i don't have any hobbies i just do my phone hobbies genuine interests and passions that you have in your life whatever it is makes you more aesthetic more attractive and just better because when you are immersed in something you are completely encapsulated in passion and you're just immersed and you get into a flow state and that's often the most attractive version of you when like maybe it's not this video but when i'm completely in flow in my videos sometimes you'll watch me and be like shit he looks quite good even if I don't look as good, let's say I look like a six, but I'll look like a nine when I'm completely in flow because I'm not giving a shit about anything and I'm just completely myself and engrossed. So you have that thing about yourself. Maybe it's your computer game or maybe it's whatever it is like building or drawing something. When you have these passions, reading, music, and you're engrossed, you have this superpower of taking the other person on a journey, on a journey that is greater than the immediate world full of troubles. It's the superpower when it comes to making yourself more aesthetic and more attractive than you are so if you are someone that currently is like i don't really have hobbies i don't know just lean into whatever draws your interest look into where your attention is drawn naturally and i don't mean scrolling and try to cultivate a little bit those areas of your life because in that you will develop that kind of unique point for you that's gonna make you more aesthetic i hope that didn't sound like waffle and i'll see you next week Bye bye